Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're going to analyze again the Bitcoin price and also the DXY because we have some very important price action going on right now. But before we start, a little reminder, we still have this special Bybit bonus going on this month, so if you put a deposit of at least 0.1 Bitcoin in your Bybit wallet and also you signed up with my referral link that you find down below here in the video description you just have to put this voucher code in the reward sub and you can claim this free money and also we have in four days this upcoming traders event here on Femex so if you want to participate here on the event currently the price pool is up to 10 Bitcoin but it can get up to 100 Bitcoin so definitely join it if you're anyway trading here on Femex and if you're still in an account where you can get also $80 completely for free then use the referral link that you find down below here in the video description with my link you support the channel and also you can get this $80 if you fulfill all the requirements and now let's start straight into the content. So if we have a look here into the CME chart, you can see that currently we don't have only this CME gap down to $11,100 from last week, but we now also have this new one that we created this weekend down to 11,370. So usually this CME gap tends to get filled very, very quickly. So I'm still more leaning to the bearish side that here we're gonna see in the short term first a potential dump at least towards this $11,100 area and then have a big leg up towards 14k but right now it looks like that Bitcoin is gearing up for a big move first to the upside and the opposite we're seeing right now in the DXY so now let's start here in the spot market in the Bitcoin price in the one hour because currently you can see that we are trading above all the moving averages and they are pushing here towards the resistance of $11,500 it also looks like that in the next couple of hours we're gonna have here a big breakout to the upside also we had already overnight here a little fake out here so this is already a good sign that we at least are trying to push higher so in case of a breakout be aware that we could even have here another fake out so maybe a big spike towards 12k and then immediately a rejection this is what we're gonna have to see if we're breaking out here from eleven thousand five hundred dollar because it looks like that Bitcoin is gearing up here for a big move to the upside also the stock markets at least the futures are looking positive today and also if we have a look into the DXY you can see that currently we are losing all the supports here and we are basically in free fall here in the DXY and this is of course very bullish for the Bitcoin Bitcoin price so there is a very good chance that right now you could take a very nice long position out of this $11,500 because DXY currently is completely falling off the cliff and in theory right now we could fall at least towards here this $93 level and if here in this area we don't have enough support we could fall even further down towards this $91 and this of course would lead into a big pump in the Bitcoin price and then we most likely gonna reach first 14k before maybe we are coming back down towards here the main support of currently around ten thousand eight hundred dollar and also if we have a quick look here into the Bollinger Band in the one hour you can see that currently we're gearing up for a big move to the upside we are fighting here with the top of the Bollinger Band and as soon as we have the MACD and KSD also shifted to the upside we should have enough fuel to the upside to break out from this resistance here of $11,500 so let's see if the price is able now to push higher we have very good cards here to have a big breakout to the upside instead to the downside because I'm still expecting here this gap filling down to 11 1100 and also test this support down here at 10,800 but right now it looks like that at least for the short term we're gonna see a big pump to the upside the four hour here the RSI is still above the 50 level which is bullish also we're trading above the 20 and 50 moving average is also very bullish in the Bitcoin price my own indicator could get the sell signal but right now we don't have any kind of signals so we are good to go to the upside and in the DXY you can see that we are losing all the moving averages supports here and this is looking quite bearish in my opinion right now we are trading below the 50 level and we have a lot of room left to the downside so the worst case here for the DXY is to come down here towards the $91 level and in that case also have a big pump in the 
Bitcoin price and we can also have a quick look into the Bollinger Band in the four hour because currently we are testing here again the top area so if we are able to overshoot here from 11,500 then watch out for 12k and potentially even 12,500 dollar we have now KST and MACD shifted to the upside only stochastic is now coming down to neutral conditions so here is also just a matter of time till we're gonna have here also bullish cross and continue here to push higher so I would recommend you right now if you are in a short to have a tight stop loss because this move here could be quite huge and also if you go over into the daily time frame here you can see that currently we are getting a sell signal of course here in my own indicator and also RSI is looking a bit toppy here also because we had here this hidden bear divergence but as you can see in this channel that we are in now for many weeks we have still a lot of room left to the upside so we could go even towards 14k before maybe we're having another rejection and a correction down to the main support where actually we are already right now even though I still think there is a chance that maybe we have another leg down towards 10.8k before we're gearing up here for 14k but it is possible that first we're going straight up here to 14k especially if here the DXY is losing so badly here this resistance fight and we could potentially even fall down here towards 91 dollars we have a lot of room left to the downside here in the dxy and the opposite here in the bitcoin price we have a lot of room left to the upside and that's why my friends i'm telling you better to look for good long positions also if you want to open up already now along make sure that you are able to scale it in down to ten thousand eight hundred dollar to ride it up towards 14k because that is the target right now to be reached i know i got here a sell signal that's why i'm still not in a long position i wanted to scale in here starting from ten thousand eight hundred and then also see if here we are getting a buy signal because there is of course also the chance that we could lose here the support of ten thousand eight hundred dollar and in that case we could fall towards 9k but this is really just if you leverage trading and if you're looking for a good position then you maybe have to wait for those kind of price levels but otherwise if you want to already start long right now make sure that you don't go high leveraged in and also that you're splitting your entries and don't forget if you watched my yesterday's live stream on twitch we still have this extra bityard ten dollars giveaway so you just have to sign up to bityard with my account and fulfill at least these two dollars in tether requirements in the promotion hub so here you don't have to put any kind of deposit nothing just register with my link and at least get these two dollars in tether over there in their promotion site you don't have to do anything no kind of deposits nothing just put like email address and your username and that's it you will get instantly two dollars and then bityard will send you automatically ten dollars and with this ten dollars you can open up for example over there a trade with tether completely riskless with the money that bityard is giving to you if you don't have already for example an account over on bybit or femix and you don't want to use your own bitcoins and ethereum to trade so if you just want to use some free tether go to bityard with my sign up link that you find down below here in the video description only with my referral link you will get then this ten dollars extra if you claim this at least two dollars that you have for free there in their promotion site and now let's have a look also into the Bollinger Band here in the daily because currently we're still trading in the upper area. So the top right now, as you can see, is right at $11,800. So it's very likely that we maybe could reach this target in case of a breakout here to the upside from this $11,500 resistance. We have currently all the indicators also shifted to the upside. So here everything is still looking like we are gearing up for a big move here to the upside at least towards $11,800 and I think as soon as we're taking out these highs that we had here 12,500 it is guaranteed that we will go up here to 14k and there we're gonna have to see if we're again getting rejected or are able to break out here from this channel to the upside so we are definitely still very bullish here in the Bitcoin price and you always should consider to buy the dips and start longing the dips and not the opposite so even though there are sometimes chances to go short and also ride it down here to take some profits i would recommend you for the next couple of years at least till we're gonna top out again to just long bitcoin and not try to short the rallies 
And now we can also have a quick look into the weekly time frame because yesterday we also had a weekly close here. And as you can see, we had another green candle, which is very bullish. We're still trading here above the 20 weekly, right at $10,500. We also have the RSI above the 50 level. And if we have a look also into the Bollinger Band, still very bullish, we're trading here in the upper area. So even though we could retrace back down towards 11K or even $10,500, we will remain here on the bullish side and the top currently is right here at 12 thousand five hundred thirty dollars we have the macd and kst which are looking a bit toppy and here we still have this bearish cross especially in the kst so this is what is making me a bit believe that here we could maybe see a, a little correction at least towards 10k maybe even towards 9k before we're gearing up here for next big move to the upside but all in all we are remaining bullish and we should look forward to new all-time highs very very soon and even here if we have a look into the moving averages you can see that currently the 50 is coming here above the 9k area and the 200 moving average is right at seven thousand dollar so the more time passes the more these moving average are coming up and of course in that case also we will potentially fall lower in case of any kind of big crashes in the stock market market or anywhere or maybe a big pump in the DXY because whenever there is such an event Bitcoin usually crashes down to the 200 weekly moving average or at least closes the weekly at around these levels and as you can see here for the worst case scenario Bitcoin maybe could retrace down here towards the 200 weekly moving average at 7k if something is really going bad right now but otherwise we should still remain here trading to the upside and even if we see a crash 7k should be really the lowest point and don't expect the price to go way lower so don't wait to buy bitcoin at 5k 4k or 3k that train has already left the station so don't wait for those prices already start to dca buying bitcoin right now because we are about to take off here really hard to the upside and you should definitely consider to buy every dip that we're gonna see if we're reaching maybe this 9k area on 9600 dollar where also we have a cme gap then fine you will be able to buy even more cheaper bitcoin but don't wait to start buying bitcoin just because we maybe could fall down towards 9600 dollar because here in the next couple of weeks and months we're gonna take off and then 11k or 12k would have been a very cheap price to buy bitcoin and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel we also have a discord trading chat feel free to join it you find the link down below here and also you can join my twitch channel all the links are here in the video description also if you are new in the crypto space use the links that you find here to open up an account for example on coinbase or swissborg this is the recommended exchanges where you can buy easily cryptos with credit card or your bank account so go and sign up with my links because then you also will get some free money that you can start immediately to buy even more cryptos so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye